guys, it's Rebecca. So today we'll be talking about the book The Astonishing Color of After by Emily Exar Pan. So I recently read it and I absolutely loved it. So this book is about this girl named Lee. Her mother recently passed away due to suicide and now she believes that her mother has turned into this giant red bird and she believes that her mother wants to convey something to her so now she's trying to find what her mother is trying to convey as a bird and during the course of time while uncovering stuffs she goes and meets her maternal grandparents whom she's meeting for the very first time so she basically doesn't know anything about her mom's side and this book basically uncovers all of it and follows her journey throughout it talking about this book this book literally broke me and then mended me okay this book is so good i i'm pretty sure during this whole video i'll be saying this book is so good because words can't describe how much i loved this book coming to the stuffs that i loved about the book number 1 is the writing i can't help but talk about the writing it's done so well by the author and if i have to describe it i don't have any other word than beautiful she has written this book so 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 beautifully that i was totally mesmerized for example in this book at lee and her friend axel are into art and the way the author describes the art piece that they have done i really wish there was an illustration of there were illustrations of this art in the book if you know me you know that i care really a lot about relationship when relationships when it comes to books this book perfectly delivered it to me if you want a father daughter relationship it's there a mother daughter relationship it's there a grandparent grandchild relationship it's there friendship it's there literally everything is there and when i talk about the relationship again coming to the family dynamics in this book it was not a perfect family it was a broken family but the way they try to communicate with each other the way they try to mend their bonds it was amazing to watch and once when i finished this book the word or the sentence that came into my mind was the imperfectly perfect family i don't know how else to describe this family than describing them as imperfectly perfect because at the end of the day everything was perfect and i absolutely loved it because of that this book has mental health representation in this it talks talks about self harm suicide and how to cope up when your loved ones pass away this book depicts that and it was done really well by the author coming to the book like as in the book itself it has really short chapters so you didn't feel that you were reading this big book another thing that i really liked about the books about the book is the minute details that was put into this book for example the chapter headings okay this normal chapter has this feather chapter heading and when they go to the past and they talk about the past it has a all our glass it has a our glass on it and when and when they talk about the uh when a scene is there where memories come so when they talk about that there's this smoke chapter headings and i was really the first time i the first uh chapter heading that i saw a unique one was the smoke one and i was like wow literally that word came out of my mouth so yeah that little input in this book gave me a little better experience in reading and talking about the characters uh they are definitely top notch characters 
the character was well developed well throughout the story and as you all know i'm a character driven reader than a plot driven reader so there's no doubt of me liking this book also i learned a little bit chinese in this book like few words like why gong i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right so yeah i learned few chinese words so yeah cool and talking about whom would i recommend this book i feel if you want to read a heartwarming heart touching story you can go ahead and check this book out and if you are in a depressing phase i might not recommend this book for you maybe after a little while you could go ahead and check this book i gave this book a 5 star rating cuz why not i love this book and i would like to try other works by emily exapan but as much as i know this is one of her best works and no other books have this kind of high rating of hers but still i would like to try and give a chance to her because this book was amazing so yeah that's it for today guys if you have read this book let me know how was it for you how was your reading experience i would love to know them Thank you guys for watching my video. Meet you guys in my next video. Bye.